In this Easy 11 Plus short lesson, we're going to be looking at a classic problem involving geometry and simultaneous equations. Don't forget to check out the books in the RSL Educational Shop and 11 Plus Lifeline. Don't forget to check the links in the video description where the worksheet for today's lesson is also linked. And finally, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Right, let's get started. We're told that this rectangle is made of five identical small rectangles. The height of the large rectangle is 20 centimeters, and we have to find the area of one of the small rectangles. Now, as with any difficult question, you should just start off by filling in what you already know. So let's do that. So the height of the large rectangle is 20 centimeters. Let's start filling in some information about the small rectangles. Now we don't know what their widths and heights are. So let's use H and W. And I'm gonna call the short edge H and the longer edge W. There are a few sides that we haven't filled in, but that's plenty enough for us to be getting on with. There are lots of things that we don't know here. So this is a good opportunity to set up some simple equations. We know that the height is 20 centimeters and that's composed of one W and one H. So let's write that as an equation. Don't forget that the equals sign always means is the same as. So here we're saying that one W and one H is the same as 20 centimeters. So one W and one H here, those two lengths, are the same as this 20 centimeter length. A basic rule is that if you want to find the answer, you need as many equations as there are things that you don't know. Here there are two things that we don't know. We don't know H and we don't know W. So we need two equations. We've got one equation, W plus H equals 20. Where can we find the other one? Well, if we look at the top here, we can see that the width of the big rectangle is made up of two W's. And if we look at the bottom, we can see that the width of the big rectangle, which is the same length, is also made up of three H's. So we can write that as an equation. Two W's are the same as three H's. Now we've got our two equations. Let's copy them out in the space below and then see what we can do with them. And I've put brackets around these as a reminder that these two things are true at the same time. There are various ways that you might approach this, but I want to show you a really simple one that works very well here. So we can see in the bottom equation that two W's are equal to three H's. The top equation tells us that one W and one H are equal to 20. We can rearrange the top equation in the form W equals W equals, well if W and an H is 20, then W must be 20 minus H. Another way of putting that is that we've subtracted H from both sides of the equal sign. Remember, as you'll have seen in all my other algebra videos, that everything you do, you have to do to both sides of the equal sign. Here, we've subtracted H from both sides. That's got rid of the H on the left, and it's added a minus H on the right-hand side. Now, if we know that W is the same as 20 minus H, that means that in the second equation, we can write 20 minus H instead of W. And that's because an equal sign means is the same as. So you can just swap these two things. Where you've got W, you could write 20 minus H. If you had 20 minus H, you could write W. Here we're going to swap in 20 minus H because that's going to mean that we only have unknown H's in the second equation. So here I've simply written 20 minus H instead of the W in the second equation. Now we need to multiply out the left-hand side of the equation. When you have something before a pair of brackets like this, it means that everything in those brackets is multiplied by that amount. So 20 minus H needs to be multiplied by two. Two times 20 is 40, and two times minus H is minus 2h. It's two lots of minus h, so we've got two minus h's, minus 2h. 
Now we're just using your basic equation solving skills. We only want h's on one side of the equation because in the end, we just want to end up with h equals or equals h. So the starting point is to get all of our h's together. We don't want this minus 2h over here because we've also got a 3h over here. How do you get rid of minus 2h? Well, you always get rid of something by doing the opposite. What's the opposite of minus 2h? It's add 2h. So we need to add 2h's to both sides of the equal sign. So 40 minus 2h plus 2h just gets rid of the minus 2h. 3h plus 2h gives us 5h. So now we know that 40 is 5 h's. And from this point, it should be relatively simple. If 40 is 5 h's, then a fifth of 40 must be 1 h. So we know that 40 divided by 5, just slightly going off the screen there, there we are, equals h, and 40 divided by 5 is 8. So h is 8 centimeters. I'm not putting the units in for now. It makes things simpler and easier to read, but we do have to remember to add the units when we give our final answer. Now, we are asked to find the area of one of the small rectangles. Remember, that's one of these things. So to find the area, we need to know the height, h, and the width. Now we've got h, we know that it's eight, how can we find the width? Well, it's really simple. We just need to go back to one of our earlier equations up here. And look, if you look on the right over here, we've got an equation that tells us how to find w, the width, if we know h, the height, which we do. So now that we know h, we can write 8 instead of the letter h. w equals 20 minus 8, which equals 12. So the height is 8 centimetres and the width is 12 centimetres of one of our little rectangles. How do we find the area? Of course, the area is just the width times the height, 12 times 8. So A for the area equals 12 times 8. Simple times tables, but if you get a little bit stuck, remember that 2 lots of 12 is 24, so 4 lots of 12 is 48, so 8 lots of 12 will be 96. And don't forget the units. And that's it. That's our answer. I hope that was useful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and look out for my live videos every Tuesday evening at 6 o'clock. Don't forget to have a look at the RSL Educational website and all the books and online resources there and the free resources linked in the video description below where you can also print off the worksheet for today's lesson. I hope to see you next Tuesday evening. Bye-bye.